All right, in this video, I wanted to cover some pretty exciting news about integrating X Air series of mixers and X32 series of mixers by the possibility of compatible scene files or the .scn files that we create uh, with both apps. Right now I have the X32 app open as well as the X Air Edit app open on my Mac. And um, over here I've started creating a uh, scene file. Now the X32 series of mixers can mix 32 channels, but um, you know, as, as most of you know, we never fill up our entire mixer. And if you have an X32 producer, or an X32 compact, those uh, by default only have 16 mic lines available anyway. So if you're using one of those two mixers with just 16 uh, mic pre's on it, then obviously an XR18 becomes a viable option for you to mix your band. And if you've already got a scene file, uh, right now, most of the data in those files will transfer over. Not all of it is perfect yet, but I'm pretty sure Behringer will get this worked out to make the .scn files completely compatible. Now, if you've got scene files that have channels above 16, it's obviously going to truncate that. If you've got effects 5 through 8, it's going to truncate that. But let's take a look at what it does convert and copy over right now. So I've got my 16 channels, 8 drums, 3 instruments, 4 vocals. I've got a mute here. I've got various volumes programmed in. I've got names and color-coded scribble strips, mutes. I've also got some just radical EQ so we can quickly see if it's transferring over. I've got gate EQ and comp on. I've got EQ and comp on. Everything else here is um, pretty random. I've got EQ and comp on. So you can see what I've done here. Uh, let's also check and see if we've got monitor mixes. Obviously we only have six buses on the X Air. So uh, we'll take a look at that and see. I've also got the main uh, with uh, comp and EQ on just to see if it uh, brings that over. And in the effects, I've got four effects loaded up. We'll see if the plate, the hall, the delay, and the combinator transfers over. And of course, we can also come in and take a look at our settings. So let's just do something that's going to be real easy to see if it's remembered our settings for effects one. We'll just do some things that will make it easy for us to recognize it's copying those settings over. Okay, so pretty quick there. And uh, what I'm going to do now on the X32 app is come into my cues, come into scenes, and I'm going to want to save this to USB drive, which on a computer is just going to be the hard drive. So we're going to save our current setting that we just created. And of course, it is a .scn file, just like we would expect to see on our X Air. I'll save that to the desktop. Okay, and now I'm going to come over to the X Air app and let's load that scene, our test scene. Let's load that up and see what happens. Okay, so pretty quickly we can see that uh, all my names come over. For some reason, the color coded scribble strips aren't quite working. Um, gate on and off, compressor on and off, and all of our crazy EQ is there. Even my stereo group for my uh, overheads, left and right, and panning. Uh, I pan guitar one and two. Uh, all the EQs are there. Let's take a look at this phase issue here on seven and eight and see if that was programmed in. So not sure about that. That probably is just something a little funky, but uh, we don't have a phase there. I also don't have phantom power turned on. Yeah, on 16. Uh, that was on on the previous theme that I have in, so that probably didn't get overwritten. The next thing I notice is the EQ on my master left right isn't there, so the master left right settings did not get transferred over. I also have no uh, bus mixes for my monitors. That didn't transfer over either. Uh, let's go check out our effects. We had some pretty... Yeah, so we had these all turned down. We had these all up and down. So our effect settings are transferring over and the effects units themselves are transferring. So the reality is this is working and I'm sure Behringer can make this work perfectly so that people you know, are completely set up. If you're a small band running an XR18 and you've got your scene files already saved, you get to a gig, 
you think you're going to have to set up your own PA system, but the house system is an X32 full size or producer or compact, you can just pop your scene in and you're ready to go. And vice versa, if you're, you know, always working on a larger console at a venue and you want to run out and do a job on an XR18, your scenes are going to be compatible through the first 16. So anyway, I just wanted to present this information. Hopefully we'll see what Behringer does with this, but I would presume that we're going to be 100% file compatible once they address any of the issues with, that I've mentioned here that, aren't, that are not working. So if you have any questions, let us know on our YouTube page or check out our Facebook user group, Behringer X Air.